Hey guys, uh, welcome to Smartphone Things. Um, it's been a while, but uh, I'm back. So first of all, thank you for 1000 subscribers uh, and I invite you to watch today's video. Uh, so today uh, we will be creating an RF433 uh, operated uh, lights that uh, use uh, Apple Home uh, with some help of uh, MQTT and Node Red. So again, welcome back and enjoy the video. So from components point of view, this project is fairly easy. We need two basic parts and the first one is, um, of course, our VMOS D1 mini uh, microcontroller. This will be used to, to receive signals from our uh, RF433 uh, receiver uh, and uh, to connect to our local network via uh, Wi-Fi to uh, talk with uh, Node-RED. Um, the second uh, key item that we need uh, is, of course, some kind of a 433 uh, megahertz receiver. I'll um, link some uh, parts that I uh, used for this project, so uh, I think it would be easier for you uh, to recreate that. We will need uh, also a few other uh, components like a breadboard, wire stripper, uh, and some kind of a 433 uh, remote um, and of course uh, our soldering uh, iron uh, and uh, some wire doesn't really matter which one okay so um, let's get on to the soldering part and as always the first part is to solder those tiny legs that Vimos comes with um, it's a bit uh, tedious, but after all, uh, not a hard soldering task. Then I am soldering our microcontroller uh, directly to the breadboard. And actually I would recommend soldering a socket first and push uh, VMOS into that socket. Uh, this way, uh, if something happens to it, you can easily swap it out. Next part is of course our 433 receiver. Uh, I'm using something cheap from uh, AliExpress uh, and you can find links to all parts below. Uh, so mine has four pins, first one is 5 volts, uh, second one is ground and two pins in the middle uh, are for data. Uh, it doesn't matter which one uh, from those two you use, uh, both work just fine. Uh, my personal advice is uh, order few of those modules, uh, they can drastically differ in reception. Uh, with the same uh, 17 cm uh, antenna, one of them was basically uh, trash, uh, it had uh, less than 2 meters of range uh, and the other worked just fine in my whole apartment. Mm, so uh, okay, that's it actually for the soldering part. Uh, for convenience, I added an LED to signal when we are receiving something. Uh, just please write in the comments if you would like to have a schematic for this or uh, uh, the video uh, is enough. Finally, let's connect it, and uh, as you can see, something works, uh, but uh, we have to now program it. So let's go to Arduino. As you can see, the code is quite simple. Uh, we are using mainly RC switch library. Um, uh, to add to this, we will be also using uh, a basic uh, pin mode to switch the LED on and off. The code will be available on my GitHub, so you can uh, download it yourself. Just pay attention to this my switch enable receive uh, and the number. Uh, this is the pin number uh, I soldered my uh, RF433 uh, receiver to. 
Okay, so as you can see, uh, when I'm pressing something on my uh, RF remote, you can see that uh, something is being received uh, by the Arduino uh, console. So what we'll do is we'll capture that uh, frequency number and tell Node Red to uh, tell MQTT to send some commands to Homebridge devices. Okay, and now for the uh, node red part. Uh, so here we will need a few elements. Uh, first of all, we need a MQTT receiver that is configured for the correct topic. Uh, you specified that topic uh, in uh, Arduino uh, code. Uh, so yeah, as before, the link is in the uh, description. Then we will need a switch that will create uh, two separate workflows depending on what button uh, was pressed. Uh, so here I'm just copying uh, the message uh, payload uh, path uh, and pasting this uh, into the switch uh, configuration. So uh, we can divide the string A and B into different uh, switch nodes and then uh, I'll just connect that with a debug function to see if everything is working so far. Okay, and next let's add another set of switches that will send uh, the correct JSON commands to Homebridge modules. Uh, after initial testing, of course it didn't work since every single Homebridge module uh, has to behave differently. Um, but with some fine tuning, it finally works as intended. Mm. I'll keep this simple, uh, but button A switches the light uh, on and the button B switches the light off. Uh, of course, this can be vastly improved, but as the video is already long, uh, we will stop here today. Uh, please write a comment if you would like to see some more Note Red tutorials uh, or some more uh, HomeKit stuff. So thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye bye.